So hello my dear Brudas and today after a couple of months without any American campaigns we are finally back to play new American campaign in Kaiser Redux. We played our last campaign in November 2022 as New York City and today in January 2023 we are going to play as the Combined Syndicates of America and we are going to bring Mafia to the power with El Capone. So, without further ado, let's start our campaign and as always, enjoy! Ready, sir! Ready! All in! Attention! Attention! So, the United States in 1936. There you can read boring American history after the First World Crike and what has happened after it and radicalization of our society is mentioned here too. God save America. You know boys, our main goal for now playing as the USA is just to boost the popularity of the left radicals. And that's actually all. Unsurprisingly, except the Great Depression, now we've got Black Monday. You see that Black Monday is worse cause pig is broken and a lot of parts. Meanwhile, this pig is broken just in the two halves, so that's okay. But this, this is horrible. Man, this is new even cause I haven't seen it before. The Ohio Scandal. Only in Ohio. It is not my place to comment. This is the right phrase that I wanted to say. I'm not living in Ohio and it's only in Ohio, so I'll choose the second option. And of course at present election 1936 we are going to elect Bill Haywood. Whoa, actually we've got even New Mexico, Cristero Mexico was a new color. Uh, what about Alaska? I don't want Alaska to leave United States, so we are loyal to America, now and forever. Alaska will be always with us. President Haywood escapes to Chicago and we're going to support him. The revolution has begun. Stand by the walkers. And now we're going to have a lot of fun playing as the CSA. Combined syndicates of America. What about peace with American Union state? I think that we should accept it, cause I don't want to fight with them right now. First of all, we need to destroy constitutionalists and fake government of the United States. First of all, we destroy them, then we destroy Long. At least he tried to look like a real socialist, but he is a fake socialist. He is a crypto socialist. So we must accept this peace for now. Damn, even liberals want to offer us peace, but why the fuck do we need to accept peace with the liberals with which we don't have any border and plus they are on the west coast line, you know, fuck them, it's nonsense. 30th of April 1937, the Second American Civil War has officially started and my main goal for now is to destroy the United States cause you see, they have no forces right now and right here on our border so we must destroy them as fast as we can. I know it looks like a joke but actually it's a reality because at the beginning of May 1937 we will probably enter Washington DC. Oh well, they are trying to defend it so we will first of all encircle it and after that we will just push it and Washington DC will be ours. What about New England? Actually it was annexed by Canada and now they have settled their puppet right up here. As you see, the encircling of the Washington is coming closer and closer. By 19th of July 1937, Washington DC has officially fall. Minus one enemy in this stupid civil war. So as you see, we didn't even have any peace treaty. Uh, Federalist government has just collapsed to me. And that's actually all and I think it's perfect, so no one even stole my lands. And now let's attack the Constitutional American Republic. Probably it will fall at the beginning of the year 1938, cause now we need to prepare our forces to the next attack and we just need to bring them to the front line, goddammit, and reform these forces. Holy moly, we got an important event, Scarefree offers his support. 
And of course we will agree and accept help of the Mafia of El Capone. They are the real brudas of syndicalism and combined syndicates of America cause they are the great patriots of their land. Of course cause they want to support us. If they wanted to support constitutionals or federals, they would be traitors. But now they are heroes of our state. Mm, and this scene is bad cause Congress absolves the treaty with the American Union state and now we have to declare war on them. That's actually bad, but on the some point of view it will be good for us cause they are pushing uh, liberals too far away. So we need to help liberals right now. Brudas, I don't believe in that because it's late October 1937 and we are entering Atlanta. I'm really shocked about this campaign and how everything is going here. We have capitulation of the Constitutional American Republic. What can be better than uh, this event? 29th of January 1938, the collapse of the American Union state has happened. So by the end of the year 1938, this war will be ended up with specific states and the whole Second American Civil War will be ended up in two years or even in less than two years. And I didn't see that we are fighting against the Walt Disney. Yo, Canadians are watching on us and thinking, what the fuck is going on? What are they doing? What will they do with us? Holy shit, please stop it somehow. Here we are, red forces have reached Los Angeles. Goodbye, Hollywood. No one even wants to defend the Pacific states. We're just going in California like a free man. We want to reach San Francisco, we will reach it, we want to reach Sacramento, we will do it and no one even will stop us. And there will be no more Disney cartoons in the new America. Holy shit, Russians are defending San Francisco instead of Americans. Really, Russian Imperial forces are defending San Francisco. Share this information in the internet. Everybody needs to know about the real one defenders of the San Francisco. 12th of May 1938, we have the collapse of the Pacific States of America and that means that in a year and two weeks, Second American Civil War has officially finished. That's the fastest Second American Civil War that I ever had and seen. And now it's all mine. And yes, after the capitulation of uh, Pacific States, Japanese Empire has stole our islands, but at least Hawaii are with us. And now our focus tree line isn't an unuseless scene. Cause after searching new naval plan we will go right to the second constitutional convention and choose our new leader. The constitutional convention begins and in this convention we will support totalist fraction. So the first question is socialist constitution, system of our government. The people exercise powers through political parties and centralists will gain an edge at the convention. That's actually what we need. The second question is judiciary. And of course, the first point. Enshrine a judicial review of the court. Third question is status of the president. And of course, we will choose an independent president. Fourth question is wage debate. And of course, the second option the identity of labor will stop tyrannies. And the fifth question is the capital of the United States, but I think that Washington DC should be back as the capital of the United States, cause you remember how we have captured it and we have become a total legitimate American state, so yeah, it's gonna be Washington DC. And in the final question, the election, you will have two options. You can uh, choose normal essential faction with totalist Earl Broder, or you can choose James Burnham, but this third option, which we will choose and which we have opened thanks to the work in uh, CSA with the Mafia, is going to be Alfonso Capone as Yim's control. And as you see now, we have the Mafioso Socialism. That's our state ideology right now. And this based man will rule America to the greatness.
he will take not only New England, but the whole Kingdom of Canada as his own syndicate. Yo bro just wanted to be rich, but actually Al Capone's mafia sizes power in America. You can get much further with a kind word and a gun, then you can with a kind word alone. Bro just wanted to sell guns, but now he is the leader of the state. Well, the most interesting thing to me is that now the paternal autocracy will gain power uh, in our state, yeah? And now paternal autocrats will become La Cosa Nostra underground. But the totalist party is going to be the main party of the state and it is going to be renamed to the All Union Syndicate Party. Great men are not born great, they grow great. And now we are the Syndicate of America with the Totalist party in the rule, but La Cosa Nostra is growing their power in our state too. They're just growing it in the underground. Sheesh, those debuffs are so bad, but I promise you, Brudas, it worth it. One thing has happened that I actually didn't expect. Somehow and some way Canada has declared war on us. But I'm glad that they have done it, cause now we can destroy them, easily destroy them. But I'm not worried about it, cause just look at my army, it's a great syndicalist army. Now let's just push Canadians away from their land as well as New England. And why am I not surprised that almost all bubbles are green? But as you see, Canadian plan has sucked a huge cock. Bro wanted to have a small victorious war and now he's going to fly away from his own state. Whoa, we can create access of the bosses. Bosses of the gym. Yo bro, what the fuck are camels doing in the northern Ontario? Just look at these French camels in the northern Ontario. Camels just wanna chill near Hudson Bay. Well, I can suggest peace to Entente, so let's try to do that. It has gone successfully, so they have betrayed Canada, but they have saved themselves. And goodbye New England. Now you know what I like our state. Anglo-America has unified. 8th of September 1939, the Kingdom of France declared war on the German Empire. Bayer and we wish luck to the French commoners. You know why do we wish luck to them? Cause their leader look like a cock. Boys, I know that it's Syria, yeah? But Erdogan, is that you? In our new state, we don't need to have an underground economy as well as black markets. Cause the whole country and the whole economy is a black market. It's a total black market. I think that we should integrate the economy into the underground economy and into the black markets. For real. Actually, Yakuts are number one main crafters in uh, the Kaiseridox because they are the first one state and nation who has discovered diamonds in our world. Now they can make a diamond axe, diamond pickaxe and diamond sword to destroy Russian Empire. Unbelievable. Oh my god, guys, so after this event, Capone's vision of America, he will lost his mind and uh, something interesting will happen. All bow to the boss. <laughs> and, and as you can see, he has changed his uh, look and now he is wearing a strange hat. He seems like he is a great wash of the new Syndicate of America. And by the way, we will reorganize our Syndicate government again. And now we will be known again as the combined syndicates of america i don't know why did we change it i mean our name and the last time but okay let's change this name back uh, yeah so now we are not even the combined syndicates of america we are the union of socialist syndicates of america actually i like that union it's not the soviet union but anyway Brudas, this pass, it's just something. Love y'all, guys. <laughs>